Hello and welcome back to Shovel Knight. This is Yet Today Plays. So, I have a choice. I can either do the Lair of the King or Spectre Knight. Um, I think Lair of the King is easier, so let's do that. Justice in Spades. Oh, I love this song so much. <laughs> I noticed a lot of what's in this game also takes from, like, Mega Man X. Well, just Mega Man in general. Where, like, it'll show you something first in, like, an easy situation. And then build upon that later on. So, like, with those, um... Oh, what are those things called? Cauldrons that spit lava? Um, back here, you know, it's really easy to avoid them and to kind of know the pace at which they fall and when you can safely pass through them. And then it throws another thing at you where it's like, oh, hey, you have to jump back and forth between this falling lava. And you're like, okay, I can do that. That's good. Woo! Oh, this game is so smart. I love it. These rat helicopter things are really weird. <laughs> like... Oh. Alright, nothing to the left. Go up the ladder. <laughs> oh yeah, this is something I haven't figured out uh, the first time I'm playing it, but you can actually hit his magic back at him. I would have done it, but eh, too late. Alright. I know you can uh, smash the globes to get extra gold, but I don't like doing that. I like my save points. Maybe I'll do a run of the game where... I... Maybe I'll do a run of the game where I do smash the globes. Uh, what is that, a no checkpoint challenge? I mean, the game plus already has that kind of... I mean, there's like two checkpoints in a, in a level. Um... Alright, oop. Yay! That blue guy that I was talking to earlier with all the items, he's in here. I think it's funny how the hole is like perfectly Shovel Knight shaped. <laughs> and then when you're Spectre Knight later, Spectre Knight has to like fold himself into the shape of Shovel Knight to fit through there. In the village or out in the field. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not going to believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? Yes, I want it. Woo! You, you. Okay, so I have it set up that X opens up my menu and Y uses the item. Good. So for the Switch, I'm using the Pro Controller. Um, I waited to get it because I wasn't sure how often I would use it. But I actually much prefer the Pro Controller over the Joy-Cons. I mean, the Joy-Cons are fine enough, but... The buttons are a little too clicky, if that makes sense. And it gets really uncomfortable playing a game like Minecraft. Where I have to like constantly be holding down the R or the L buttons. Eventually, I would like to get the uh, Nintendo six, uh, the original Nintendo Joy-Cons. 
I wonder if they will ever make the Super Nintendo controllers for it. Yeah, if, if they add Super Nintendo games onto the Switch, that would just be, like, the best console ever. That's the thing. They need to... Nintendo really needs to um, add more of a back catalog to the Switch. Like, there's no reason why you can't or why you shouldn't be able to play everything on here. You can play Game Boy games um, because it's handheld. And just being able to play Game Boy games on the TV is fun. But then... Um, but then, like, anything from the Nintendo to the GameCube should be able to be playable on here. The only thing that I think there would be an issue is, like, Wii games or DS games. Because with DS games, you kind of need the secondary touch import input. And with the Wii games, a lot of it depends on, like, the cursor interacting with the screen. You might be able to get around it uh, with other options, but you can't just like port over a Wii game onto a Switch and make it work. I wonder if they would sell a sensor bar that's USB that would attach to the back of the Switch. Hmm. I mean, that could be a way of doing it. And then I do believe one of the Joy-Cons has, like, a sensor on it. Like, on the bottom, it seems there's a window or a sensor to go through. Oh, come on, I'm terrible at this. Okay, so, watch. I can uh, bounce this magic back at him. Yay! Alright, let's get this gold. Yeah, and then MatPat from the Game Theory theorists was talking about how it's possible they could be making a VR thing for the Switch 2. Now, I'm not sure how well that would play out because the the screen on the Switch itself is only 720p. And to get pretty good resolution VR, you need like 4K at least. Um, so I don't really see that thing out soon. Also, I really think... I really think VR should stick with, you know, Oculus and... What's the other manufacturer? HTC? I don't know, they seem like they know what they're doing with that. The new Oculus Go seems pretty interesting. You know, you don't need a computer for it. See, I feel like we're in the Nintendo, like, original N Nintendo stage of virtual reality. Like, we're just getting a feel for it, it's still new technology, and we're just seeing what the possibilities are. But then, the next generation will be, like, the Super Nintendo version of VR, where that's where all the best games come from. They're taking what they learned from the Nintendo and making it better. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for that to happen, because right now, VR is still still kind of in its infancy. I do feel like I prefer VR to 3D movies. Because VR has that immersion thing. Like, it surrounds you, surrounds your peripherals. And you have direct input on what's going on, what you're interacting with. But with a 3D movie, you have the limitations of the screen breaking your immersion. Like, yeah, the screen in front of you is, has depth to it. It's popping out and it's going in. But once you get to the edges of the screen, then it's like, it's faded, it's blurry, there's images uh, crossing over. It's really weird. And also, like, not everybody knows how to do 3D right. Now, um, DreamWorks, Disney, they're doing 3D phenomenally well. Like, I would always, I would always watch an animated movie in 3D. It's, well, because it, it's animated in 3D, so it just makes sense that you would watch it in 3D, doesn't it? 
Um, but live action movies, it's really hit or miss whether their 3D actually works or not. Avatar, obviously. Um, but I believe that the people who worked on Titanic, don't quote me on this, I might be totally wrong, but I believe that the people who worked on Titanic also did Jurassic Park in 3D, and they did a phenomenal job. Like, that is really a movie that benefits from being in 3D. Um, you should really see the behind the scenes for it, it's really cool. An interloper in our midst? Be gone from our throne room, knave. Knave? What, what's a knave? Knave. I am no more an intruder than you are. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self. And now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. I read that as descendant. Descendant dandy. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. Be gone, humans. All right. So King Knight is going to be the next playable character. Uh, I don't know when that's coming out. Um, but that seems pretty interesting. I mean, I don't know what his, like, special ability is. Although, to be fair, like with Spectre Knight, I had no idea what they could do with him. And he is fun as heck to play with. And he's dead. I'm going to sleep. Summer, go down. Rah! Always take care of your campfires. Alright, well I think that'll be it for this episode. You seem to be rolling pretty well with one level an episode. An intruder! Alright, so next time we'll do Spectre Night. See you guys later!